Hi everyone, it's time for Making Meaning, and our book this week is called Friends at School. It's by Rochelle Bunnett, so it says by, but that means she's the author. And then down here it says Photographs by Matt Brown. So this is a real story, so they use real pictures. So instead of someone drawing, the illustrator, this is a photographer, he took pictures. All right, I want you to know that the thing that we're gonna be working on today is answering key details about our story, answering questions about key details in our story. So key details are just the important things that you're learning. We're gonna talk about them, I'm gonna ask you questions about them to make sure that you understand what's going on. Okay, pretty simple. All right, let's see. So I want to remind you about being a good partner. Here at school, you would have a partner to turn and talk to and they would switch every couple weeks. I know at home, you probably have the same person that you talk to, but it's important that they get to share too. So when you're answering a question, let them answer as well. And to be a good listener, you will have your mouth closed and your eyes on them. You can like nod in agreement, but you shouldn't be talking while they're talking. You wanna practice being a good partner because one day you'll be here back at school and you're gonna to need to know how to be a good partner. All right, so this is a true story about friends working and playing at school. So I have to tell you, this book was published. That means someone had an idea and they wrote it down on paper and they took the pictures and then they sent it to a company and they printed it on paper and became a book. This book was published or made a book back in 1995. Now, that was a long time ago. So school may look a little bit different in this book than it does now. I just wanted to warn you about that. All right, so we'll be stopping and talking about parts of the story and you're gonna to talk to your partner. Um, and remember talking about a book helps us to understand the story better. Friends at school. We are friends at school. I am Ryan. I am Annie. We are Shane and Parker. I am Chris. We are Molly and McKenna. I am Shelby. And this is Mocha. It's a guinea pig. Mocha lives at our school. She loves carrots. It's fun to feed her. Mocha likes company, so we keep her near us when we play. Sam and Sarah also live at our school. They are African spur tortoises. They eat all kinds of greens. All right, so African spur tortoises are animals that kind of look like turtles. Let's see if you can see them. I'll go in a little bit closer. See in their hands? All right, so what animals do the children have at their school? Turn and tell your partner. They have Mocha, the guinea pig, and they have Sam and Sarah, the African spur tortoises. Do you know back when I was little, we used to be able to have class pets. Now with allergies and things like that, um, you don't see them very often. All right, let's keep going. And remember, if you're not finished talking by the time I keep going, you can always pause yourself. Every day there are special times we can take Sam and Sarah out of their terrarium and hold them. So cool. I bet you're wondering, what's a terrarium? So it's kind of like a glass, like a fish tank maybe, but instead of having water in there, it has the supplies that a, um, a turtle would need. Sometimes you just have plants in there. All right. There are lots of different things to do at our school. We talk on the telephone. We write letters and draw pictures. We play counting games with a friend. Our grocery store is always busy. Ellie and Tyson wait in line while Elliot makes change. Luca and Mario talk quietly together. Ellie puts on a puppet show. Molly waits for her turn. Nico reads a story to Ellie and Dash. Molly doesn't use a book to tell a story. She just makes one up as she goes along. Molly knows lots of songs and teaches them to us. Puzzles are fun. We like to do them on our own, but if a friend helps, that's fun too. 
Everyone likes playing in the water tub. Look at what's in the tub today. There's blue flubber and whales. Flubber feels cold and gooey when you squeeze it. There's a vocabulary word. Gooey means sticky. Some days we put cornmeal or sand in the tub instead of water. Everyone has a job to do at cleanup time. Splash and scrub, Chris and Molly wash their hands with warm soapy water at the sink. Snack time. We make moo shakes. Here's how we do it. We put in strawberries, peeled bananas, one cup of orange juice and one cup of milk into the blender. Don't forget to put the lid back on the container. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if they didn't forget that? So a container is a jar or a bottle or a can or a cup, just something that holds something else. Shane presses the button, vroom. Chris pours some for everyone, mmm, it tastes good. Sometimes we get moo stashes from drinking moo shakes. Get across the top. All right, so let's, I'm gonna ask you some questions about the key details in the book. What are some of the things that the children do inside their classroom? Go ahead and pause me because there were a lot of things. See if you can name a few. All right, so maybe you remembered that they do snacks. Maybe you remembered that they have class pets, that they play grocery store, that they do math together, that they sing and play songs. So many things that they do in their school, don't they? All right, I hope you named a couple of those. Let's keep going. At your school, we play outside all year round. Here are some things that we like to do outside. Go fast or slow, forward and backward, high and low on the swings. We do have swings here at the school. They're very popular. Make mud pies in the sandbox. That sounds messy. We play on the slide. Ryan hears someone coming down the slide who can be it's Annie. We play circle games together or play with one special friend. Our school goes on field trips. In fall, we go to Happy Valley Pumpkin Farm. When we get back to school, we scoop out the pumpkin seeds and bake them. Sometimes we go by bus. We visit the fire station. Everyone likes painting on the easel, but painting the fence at school is much more fun. Oh my goodness, the fence. All right, so I asked you about things that the kids did inside the classroom. Now I want you to tell your partner some things that the kids do outside the classroom. Go ahead and pause me right now. Just going back to look to make sure I, I don't miss anything. All right, so they play games together. They go on the swings and the slides. They go on field trips. They paint the fence. Oh my goodness. All right, sounds like fun, doesn't it? All right, let's keep going. School time is over. It's time to go home. Shelby puts on her coat. Mora puts on her boots. Goodbye, everyone. We hope to see you soon. They look really happy to be at school, don't they? All right. So this is the question that you're going to answer in your discussion board. And I wanna know what part of the story did you like best and why did you like that part the best? So head on over to your discussion board and answer that and I will join you again tomorrow and we'll talk again about this book. All right, bye guys.